And we're back. A little longer than probably probably normal, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Because my gun breakers uh gun breakers now at sixty five. Which means that I can queue for Bartim's metal sixty five. Uh, also, I took the time to get flying in the Ruby Sea and uh, grab me a few Aether Currents here in the Azim Step. I have a map. I can't find them easily. Let's queue as a tank and see see how well this goes. <laughs> Still got some of my original 255 gear from uh, when I got Gunbreaker. You have a couple of 270 pieces. And I did get that uh, Domen Iron Gunblade, so. I think while we're doing this, might as well look at the, into those uh, uh, Aether Currents, right? Since it just seems like I, I, I'm just getting a longer queue for this for some reason. I would queue as healer. The only thing is I kind of want to work on XP. <laughs> so my my red mage and my uh, gunbreakers uh, specs aren't too far behind my my monk. My monk is, is going to be ahead. It's always going to be ahead because I'm doing all the main stories on it. I'll probably complete this quest on here just to kind of, you know, give it a little boost. I need a dart of sheep. There we go. Why am I darting a sheep? Because it gives me a zipper. Don't worry, it's just asleep. It's fine. It's for her own safety. Did you catch my sheep? I don't think she's an old lady. I think she's a younger lady, but she's a lady nonetheless. Or maybe it's a guy. I don't know. I'm not going to use the phrase that Aura, Aura looked the same to me, but... I don't know. I didn't look closely. <laughs> so it means everything to me, truly. Actually, I think he probably is a boy. Okay. There. One Aether Current quest down. All right, where is one? I'm trying to go around. This one ends up getting a little difficult to get. This one we'll get later. Trust me, story thing. We'll, we'll get it. 
This one I would like to get early, but... Gotta be here. Yeah, it's right around here. So, 1220? 1320. Follow the river inside a cave passage. There it is. Right. Pull up the map again. A fence bar in her way here. Sarah. Okay. See this? This is a Matanga. Apparently carrying to uh according to um the uh what was it? The Orzopedia or something like that. It's a uh, the actual like database from Lodestone. Apparently, they like killing Aura for fun. <laughs> what is the Azim step full of? Aura. They love Aura, but Aura in the last. However, in Endwalker, we're going to meet Beast Tribe, which probably doesn't have that hatred of Aura. <laughs> Right here. So. Five nine twenty eight. Okay. Be a cave around here. Ignore me, I'm just passing through. Oh, there it is.
This is also home to one of the tribes. There's down here, about here. Something eight eight point six thirty five. By the way, kids, use your resources. <laughs> I'm using the uh, effects XIV uh, Wikipedia, the Council Games Wiki dot com or FFXIV dot Council Games dot Wiki dot com. Eight point six thirty five. Okay, there it is. Which has allowed me, which has given me experience points for just exploring the map. It's not much, it's like thirty four or thirty five K. But every little bit helps, especially when you're in starting the multiple millions. I need seven, almost seven million. You know, let's. Past year. Fifteen thirty four. There it is. Not getting everything, but Let me see a place here. I believe we exit back to Yangsha here. I think I'm done with just one more. Yeah, two more. What did I miss? I got that one, I got that one, I got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, there's the okay. Right here. Uh, nope. Yeah, twenty three, twenty nine. You know, I'm putting it perfectly. I need some banners up this way. Then you think I will have explored this step? You just help me find it. There's some banners. That might be it. Yeah, it's probably under here somewhere. There it is.
Wow, these keys are long today for some reason. Okay, cool. Hey, Ornier Gatekeep. I came for a visit. Uh, those deemed worthy by our most radiant brother Magni are permitted to pass through these gates. You are not one of them. Be gone. So, in other words, nope. Not getting the last one because I believe the last one is. Oh, I can't see it from here. Get a better angle. The right up here, that that broken bridge or that plat platform they got up there, I believe it's right there. All right, let's take a look around. See if we've got any uh, other plus signs to look at. Alright, I'm gonna make another attempt looking up here, seeing if I can find the, the way up here. I don't need to get up here for for flying or anything, but I would like to tune to the Aetherite at least. I don't think. I don't think it's unlocked. There's another unlock quest that needs to be done. Oh, jeez, it surprised me. I admit that I, I said to these people, this is my first time taking it, but uh, now that I think of it, I might have actually taken this before. Well, look, you're, you're trying to increase the pace. Okay, I will. Okay, so, so my DPS respect me, the healer is not.
How? How did I miss one? Right, I do have my tank stance on, right? Oh shit. I'm not really sheep. There you are. Hmm. What is this all aiming stuff? Back over here.
Mm. Oh, what the hell? I have no idea what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. That's fine. How about not pulling? God damn it.
because I hate you. <laughs> Pull the, pull the second group. God damn it. This is not going well. The decision to tank this on the stream was probably not that great of an idea. Either that or I just... <laughs>
I don't remember. Oof. We did it after a long wait. That's that and that's that. <sighs> hey, didn't you go in there as a monk? Uh, I think I got Leo on this one. In the volume up. No, oh, maybe not. Should have known you'd be the first to make it through. And of course, Lise was second. Because we monks stayed together. We're badass. I'm assuming you had no trouble? Good. I managed somehow, as you may have guessed. Looks like Yen and Gosetsu are still in there, though. Nothing for it but to wait, then. I'm going to pop into Red Mage form so I can grab some XP. <laughs> Since I'm already leveled to 66 <laughs> on, on Gunbreaker. Oh, right! We still got those whistles Sarah and I gave, gave me. Here's yours. I suppose we ought to give them a try, like she said. Up there, look! I think that means we've won them over! That one there is yours, right? The other one is mine. Aww. So, that's it. That then. We're officially warriors of the step. I'm gonna grab a... Bending, get some gear for... for... The tank, so the XP, <laughs> the XP would, would provide work, red mage, but hey, but I'm monking this, so maybe I'll switch it up if the things. Oh, and the next one is a casting thing. Hold on, I'm gonna do this next part as red mage just because it's got the <laughs> it's got casting gear. 
You don't think they... No, of course not. He and a good sense will come out any minute now. I suppose we could chat a little while. Will we wait? Oh, so the other day I said to Alize, I said... We have a small truck. I think this says VO. Maybe? Mission accomplished. Everything still in one piece? More or less, I. That mountainous monstrosity came as quite a surprise. Who knew that the steppe held such secrets? I see the two of you emerged similarly unscathed. Well then, by my reckoning, there is naught left to prevent us from taking part in the Nardom. I'll be monkeying him. You! Yea, you who have walked Bardom's metal. Newborn warriors of the steppe. Our Han demands an audience. You will come. I remember those clothes. He's Oranir, isn't he? What should we do? Ordinarily, I would politely decline, but this may be an opportunity to assess their strength. And we do have some time before the Nardom begins. If it all goes to plan, they will be fighting for us soon enough. What say you? Shall we go and greet our comrades-to-be? Like, yeah, why not? It's always good to scope out the competition. Whatever happens, we shouldn't keep Siren and the others waiting. Let's be ready to make a swift exit, all right? We accept Johan's generous invitation. Lead the way. They're, they're going to capture us. They didn't capture us. We let ourselves be captured. Captured. Oh, oh, okay. You do need to realize I, I know teleportation magics, right? If, if I could, I could just pop over to Union. And then as you're trying to head over there, I'm just telling myself, but... Pop on a Falcon Porter and just fly over. Two banners. So it's not just Oranir we're dealing with. Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. You conquered Bardem's metal. As warriors of the Mall, I. You were the Han here, yes? Why have you summoned us? Mayhap to propose a joint endeavor? Nay, Doman, we shall not speak as equals. Born of the sun are Oranir, and born of the earth are you. When I learned of trespassers, I bade my warriors take their measure to flay them if they failed. But if by the grace of Azim they should survive their trials and emerge anointed, then bring them hither to pay tribute. 
tribute, should it prove satisfactory, shall earn you the favor of the sun. His beloved shall bask in his radiance, and their supplications be duly considered. So you want us to bow down and serve you? What if we don't feel like it? The Defiant will suffer in shadow. It would be an affront to the resplendent Hazim himself to refuse this generous offer when by rights you should be condemned. But, in lieu of tribute, swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. A generous offer granted to but few. Though perchance this is too merciful. It seems our brothers of the Budaga want you. The men only. Like the Borlak and women. Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve one way or another. That much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. You will be given a task. It will be difficult. You will carry it out. When you have accepted this, you may ask me what it is. Yeah. Can't be harder than anything like, uh... Defeating the Ultima weapon, or... Now, striking down Nidhogg twice. Once with only one eye and not even his. And the second, when in addition to having both of his eyes, he also uh, was in possession of the body of the Great Dragoon. Although, I, I admit that Xenos was a bit of a problem, but I survived that, so that should mean something. So you are the first to step forward. Mm, bold or reckless. I see why Diducal Di favors you. The Nardam approaches and the Ornir will reign supreme once more. Such is the will of Father Azim. Yet only fools think to triumph by the grace of the gods alone. And we are not fools. Your task will be to aid us in our preparations. Batu will tell you the rest. Oh, that went to my inventory because, you know what, I've got too many robes! <laughs> Hold on. I am going to discard those. I can't sell them or anything. Don't want them. Okay. Oh, that's kind of ugly. There we go. Now oh, I'm a little bit better geared now. Well, 
Batu shall tell you how you might serve the Ornir. It's, it's curious. Find like 40, uh, 432,000, right? 432,000, no matter what. Okay. Checking to see if there wasn't anything about the, like, depending on your level. Level 66 and. Oh, level 66. 65, so technically I can't take it. I can take it, but. Anyways, hard point with the monk. I <laughs> cross my fingers. I <laughs> cross my arms. He crosses his arm, I cross my arms, being like, what? What will you have in me? Warriors of the Steppe, by the grace of the most radiant brother, you will not die this day, but instead be granted an opportunity to contribute to our cause. Rejoice, for this is a great honor indeed. Serve well, and you will be rewarded. Question. Do you keep calling Magni our radiant brother? You're not related or something, are you? All are your descendants of Father Razim. And if you mean to ask if our mothers are one and the same, then no. The most radiant is the elder brother, as we younger. The strongest, most deserving of respect. No more interruptions. Your duties are as follows. You, the Red Woman, you will milk our beasts. To grow strong, one must be well fed, and we must needs. We have great need of cookies and cheese. That's it. I mean, I'm not happy about all this, but I suppose I can go along with it for now. You, the one who lumbers as a mountain. Ah, an old warrior, I see. You have arms and armor and need of repair. Go and speak with our members. I have no talent for delicate work, but if that is you, what you wish, wish, then so be it. You, the insolent fool. As for you, this one carries the fire. The Bugada would take his measure. Seek my comrade outside tending to the stores. He will give you your task. You will know him by his cloth. Unlike they, unlike they are the yellow, we are of the green. I, for one, would welcome the opportunity to learn more of the Bugada and their ways. It would be an honor. Hien. Just such a good... Such a good diplomat. We shall speak of your task outside. With me. You are near, near our pompous, arrogant... brutes. That's what I have to say about the Ornir. But first, I want to do something while I'm up here. I'll talk to this falcon porter. So, I got everything in the Azim step, and I just need to finish, like, get four more quests. I'm not sure if they're available yet, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. There was one. I did it. Anyways. Also, while here, and into the eighth right.
about you. Before we continue on this, I'm going to do a uh, quick break while I refresh my beverage. So I'll be right back. Took a little longer because I decided I wanted another peanut butter sandwich. Just a little snack. Your name for honor? Uh, as a ghost, wind small. As a ghost, then. You are to dive into a zim cart below the dawn throne and gather sword grass from the lake below bed. It is an invaluable ingredient in many medicines. Eight bundles will you bring? 
You will need to dive deep to obtain what you seek. But that shall pose no trouble for a true warrior, no? Some say that the dominion of the Dawn Father and the Dust Mother does not extend beneath the water, but ours does. Indeed, the warrior fear not above or below. Speak with the god to descend. We shall speak again when you have finished. I'm like, do I need to? I could probably just dive off here. Missing a patch? Oh, there's one. Here we are. So here's how I vision this head canonically would would have actually gone to Fesagos was given this task. You'd be like, oh, that's all? Okay. I would actually go over to the edge. I would have missed you would immerse yourselves in the depths of the testimony of your brain. Well done. As you wonder, you would <laughs> we will use it to provide a potions to induce paralysis in the autumn 
will use every means at our disposal to delay our foes. He who increases his his deeds inscribes his deeds upon the sacred ground shall be declared the victor. However, none shall know this place until the the Yarl Yarl has scattered scattered the soil. It matters not, we shall be swift as stallions and fierce as bars. The step will be ours once more. Your tribute is accepted. We will return to the most radiant, and you may beg him a boon. So here's what 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 would have happened. Essegos would have gone over here, and he would literally have just jumped off the side into the water. Then, after collecting everything, he would have done what I just did and teleport to the Aetherite. And come back and be like, and it's like, you know, and they're like, you never emerged. I thought you had died. No, it's fine. I could breathe underwater. It's Am I to understand you have completed your tasks? I know not what yours was, but mine was surprisingly simple. They bade me carry various goods and sundries from storehouse to storehouse. Alas, it was difficult to learn much about all the boogada swarming around me. Yeah, I just dived into the water, picked some grass, came up. You dove deep into the water to have a sword grass. I see. That is well. Most radiant brother Magni, you have give, we have given you tribute as demanded. Were we to beg leave to depart with our comrades? Would you consent? We never intended to press you into our service, and tribute offered in good faith cannot be denied. To grant you not in return would be an affront to Father Azim. However, the boon must be proportional to the supplications. What you ask for exceeds what you have earned. Then we must remain here. Would you at least permit us to learn more of your people and your ways? Mullen Toon taught me but a fraction, you see. How this world, world born of gods uh, was to be their battlefield, their creations to fight in their stead. How Azim, father of the dawn, who, who birthed the sun, and Nama, mother of the dusk, who was, bir was birthed who birthed the moon, made the Ara. Yet, though these children warred for a time, eventually they laid down their arms and came to love each other. And so the gods bequeathed this world to their children and ascended to the heavens whence they came. Thus born, those born of the dawn father are called the rain, and those born of the <coughs> dust mother are called the Zela. Though it was, and ever after. But I say to you, Brother Magni, how can this be? How can Orner be the children of the Zim if they are Zela born of Nama? You amuse me, Dobin, how you wield your ignorance as a weapon. What? Very well. I bid you speak with our elders and learn the truth of this world. Lore about the Zela. He and Wind know more of our ca your captors and their ways. I know what you're thinking, and yes, I could probably have convinced him to let us go go how to handle that differently, but then we would have learned not to fall troubles. 
If there is one thing I know, it is that men of faith yearn to share it with others, and in learning more of their beliefs, we may learn more of their other things. Other things. Things which could, may prove useful to the, in the Nottam. Well, <clears throat> when I was carrying out my tasks, I met an elder, a storyteller named Ubu Tai. Maybe he can be your teacher. I can spare no time for you. Other troubles demand my attention. What troubles? What ill fortune has befallen you? Not me, but my lambs. Some few wandered far, far and have yet to return. Mayhap they will return to their mothers in time. Mayhap they will not. Mayhap. Perhaps you can help. <clears throat> if we must, then we must. Let us be at it, Tessagos. This is one of those earned trust of uh, said people by doing little tasks. These are some bugada. Bugada warrior. Who wear very little clothing. These are us start inside. And has those. Where's that last one? There it is. Greetings. I trust all our little explorers are fully accounted for.
Well, they are. My thanks to you, Dolman. Now, you had questions for me? I, I would know more of the Ornia, of the creation of Father Zim. As you wish. Come, let us sit. Before we begin, tell me, what do you know of the Aura? How they came to be? Uh, Rain was born of the Dust Father and the Zayla of the Dust Mother? Yes, yes, a common tale, and one believed by many tribes. But that does not mention this. Azim and Ma were lovers. Oh, they fought at the beginning, as did their creations. That would be true, but when they saw how the Zayla and the Rain rose above their hatreds and joined hands in harmony, their hearts stirred, and the love of their children shared Shared became theirs as well. Alas, he was of the sun, and she of the moon. Apart they must reign, lest day and night cease to be, and with them all creation. With sadness in their hearts, they returned to the heavens, he to the day, she to the night, destined to walk before and after, never to meet. As time passed, Azim's yearning for his beloved grew deeper still. Was there truly not that could be done, he wondered. At last he knew. If the father cannot be with the mother, then he shall go amongst her children, now and ever after. So it was that Azim took a fragment of his being, and with it fashioned an avatar. Clad in a scale of midnight, he descended and sought out the Zela. Yea, he was the first Orinir. We are of his flesh and his blood. We are the children of Azim, and it is our duty to watch over and keep the Zela safe. I confess I did not expect the tale of your people's beginnings to be quite so romantic. Yet I must, must ask... If it is your duty to defend the sailor, how can you go to war with them in the Dardom? If it, is that not a contradiction? If a father disciplines his sons, does that mean there is no love in his heart? Zayla are not wont to kneel. They must be made to. Only then will they heed reason. I see. Such is the way of the step. Thank you, Elder, for sharing with us your wisdom. You go to the pot. There you go. You would do well to hear the end of my tale. When Namar looked down and saw the avatar of Zim, she knew him as once and shed tears of love and longing. When they struck the earth, they rose anew as a counterpart to the Oranir. Their fates intertwined. entwined. So you see, for every son of Azim is a daughter of Namar. For whom he must be, must search, even now. Mayhap I was being overly, overly optimistic, but I sense that these Ornias may prove loyal allies to Doma under the right circumstances. Their arrogance is rooted in the belief that they must act as caretakers for all Zayla. Therefore, if we can prove to them that we, we come as kindred spirits, seeking to defeat a common foe. But mayhap this is a discussion for after we win the Nadam. Come, let us return to Magni. Magni. Curious? Where is Gosetsu and Lys? Just been uh, Hien and I. <laughs> Oh, there they are. 
Mm, you shine with the light of newfound wisdom. Could it be that you have at last accepted the supremacy of the sun? No matter, you have much complete. Have each completed your tasks and proven yourselves deserving of mercy. However, it is f if it is freedom you desire, then there is one more thing you must do. God damn it. Wait. What do I think it is? Yes. Scarred. I don't want them. I just don't want them. At all. A pity you will not pledge yourselves to the sun. You might have proved yourselves in the com useful in the coming autumn. Nevertheless, I will permit you to return and fight for them all. Their cause is futile, with or without your assistance. However, you must first complete a final task, as was my decree. You will reconnoiter the encampment of the Dothral. For this task, two will go and two will remain. Should the two who embark upon this expedition choose to flee or be captured or killed by the Dothal, Dothral, then the others will be taken as slaves and serve the sun unto death. We better not fail then, eh? The question is who should we send? That is not for you to decide. All of you have conquered Bottom's Metal and proven themselves worthy of the step. You should all be equally capable of carrying out this task, and therefore you should have no objections. The first choice of hostage shall be mine, though it is hardly a choice, given the circumstances. The Red Woman will remain. Doubtless, doubtless you are not the moon I seek, but stranger tales have been told, and the men are of no use to me. You may have your pick of the men. Hmm, yes, yes. Um, if you're interested, uh, I have a husband already. <laughs> Name is Pippin. What are you looking at? <laughs> Firewalker, yes, this Tobin is my choice. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know whether to be flattered or insulted. May have both. I had hoped to see these undying ones for myself, but it seems as not meant to be. I know you'll be fine, but permit me to wish you luck all the same. We will return soon, my lord, but if the Kami are unkind and we fail your mission, then do, do what you must to survive. For Doma. The thrall car lies far to the south, where the grass turns to sand. Return with valuable knowledge, and all will be free to rejoin the mole. Now go. Ah. 
Have no fear, my friend. We shall see them freed soon enough. Let us quit this place and speak of our plans outside. One moment while I quickly uh, make a jump to Kugani. Look. Transmog is absolutely necessary. Yes, I know I said transmog and it's glamour here in, in FFX IV. They will forever be transmog to me. You gotta look good. What can you say? Just plain they hope that we'll never return. I shall enjoy disappointing them. According to my map, there is a colossal wreck to the south, which should provide a vantage point of which to survey Darthral Kar from afar. Let us go and do just that. Oh, that's for a different thing. Oh, yeah. Let's go Setsu. It's not a good position for the Lalafell because I think there's like obstructions. Over there, look. Those men are in danger. Men are in danger. Ah, 
too late for the one, perhaps, but there is yet time for the uh, to save the other. Come, we cannot abandon him to his fate. I owe you my life. We friend, think nothing of it. I but wish we could have come sooner. I knew at once he was dead. It will come as a scant comfort, I fear, but I slew the beast responsible. Nay, there is no way for Dothral to die. What is this? Who are these outsiders? Sadu Kahan Hatun Sadu Hatun Forgive me. We were returning from our hunt when we were caught unawares by Manasar. Menza, Menza Siri. These one save me, but Kassir is. Who are you and why have you come? Not to cross the sands, that much is certain. I've heard tales of travelers in leagues with another tribe. Are you they? Who do you serve? Answer me. If I may begin to answer your question before you ask more, we are friends of the mole. We have come to seek the strength of the Dothral for us. See the strength of the Dothral for ourselves. The mole? The little lambs who wander to and fro at the behest of their gods? <laughs> what fools you are to share the soil of such weaklings. Next you will tell me you wish to fight in the Nardom. Ah, oh, so you do. Ha! <laughs> that is unexpected, yet not unwelcome. I am Sadu, the tune of the Dathral. For your deeds, I grant you leave to walk among us. Come, look on our glory and despair. We fear no tribe, least of all the mole. Though if you are of the ordinary, I would burn the flesh of your bones here now. We can stand, yes. See to the corpse. Yes, Hatun. So that is the leader of the Dothral. Clearly not a woman to be crossed. And how callously she spoke of her dead. See to the corpse? Surely this warrior deserves better than that. Forgive me, as a ghost, but I cannot, in good conscience, ignore the callous disregard that woman showed for the kinsman. We must seek her out at once. With me! Oh. 
Luca said to I may not be the most like intelligent one about like semantics and such, but maybe there's a reason and we could just like learn why. I do. Not soon enough, Hartoon. The Nardom is nearly upon us. Mayhap we should cancel restraint until after. I do not understand. If Gesser is dead, how should he return? Silence! You come to spy on us, knowing naught of our ways. We know you are fearless, and that you are called the Undying Ones. That is true. None are braver than the Dothal, for we do not fear death. With death, a warrior must dance boldly, fearlessly, for thus does his soul burn bright. Then, in death, his soul shines white, exalted. The flesh rots, but the soul endures. And ere the seasons have turned, so he shall return. When he is glimpsed in the eyes of a newborn, he is blessed with the same name, that he may grow into a great warrior once more. You mean to tell me these newborn babes and fallen warriors are one and the same? Madness! I gave you leave to observe, not to insult our beliefs. Have care what you say. Otherwise, do as you will. I think that's one of the reasons why the two of us were chosen. Expecting us to fail. Come on, Gosetsu, put a little, like, smarts into to things, you know? You know how, how, how Lord Hien talks? He, he asks for clarification politely. Not insulted by saying, bah, I don't believe it! Well, they do, so well, we're just finding out. We're getting information. We're getting information. We're not trying to give them how we believe. We're finding out how they believe. It's... <sighs> We're two thick-headed idiots, aren't we, Gosetsu? Such con contempt was in their eyes, I have never known. But for the soul to live on, as they say, is not something that so can so easily accept. Do they truly believe this, all of them? That in death there can be rebirth? Attribution? In any event, we have come here in search of information. We cannot leave without speaking with our people. Hey man, sorry for my idiot of a row friend. I know you. Reunion. The travelers with the Molga. I marked you after I left the Ornia. One's from Doma, other One's from Doma, others I could not place. My name is Coco. Well, welcome to Dothral Car. Hmm? Coco sounds to your name the name of a woman? Well, of course, that would be because it is. I died a woman and was reborn a man. It's of no moment. It is of no mo moment. The soul is the soul, and the flesh is the flesh. Perhaps you scoff. Many would. Many look only to the name in the flesh. And while those these things in dictate their perceptions, consider Sadu, Ka Sadu Katun. Three times before, she died a man, yet she returns as a woman, the fourth. Yet she is no less fierce than our outsider, f any outsider foolish enough to think, so it will learn the truth to their peril.
I mean, then comes the fact: do you, do you come back? Do, do you get to choose, or it's like the the, the first baby born you slip in, and that's the soul. The... Impressive, is it not? Was slain by my boy. We were childhood friends, he and I, before he fell and returned. Master of the bow, it's good to see that he retains his skill. Cycle of death and rebirth, it is simply that. Take me, I died in battle with the hot toe. Hot go. No fierce that I fight, and so I returned. Alas, we know, know not of our past lives. I must learn what I learned. Well, learn what I mean. I must learn what it means to be Kiar again and again. It's difficult to remember everything, but important. Like I said, so did you mind your tongue now? Ah, uh, Isagos, you've completed your inquiries. Ah, as she said, they believe that with every fiber of their being that their bravest warriors will be reborn. As for me, I observe some of their warriors at practice. They are as formidable as the Orinia, perhaps more, and their weapons are their equal as well. Yet while they do not lack in skill and resources, tis plain to see that their numbers are inferior. It has been an educational experience, to say the least. Yet everything we have learned is common knowledge to the people of the steppe. It will not be enough to earn our comrades their freedom. Not less than the Dathral's plan for the Nardom will suffice, I fear. Well, I have never been one of for skulking about. I will go to Sado and see what secrets I can praise from her lips. Uh, oh well. A spy's return, and they have learned not. They have so, but no longer. Though you hide it well, I know, no, you have devised some manner of cunning stratagem for the Nordam. Out with it, I say. We are where we are, Derman. We are the thrall. Others rely on tricks and traps, subterfuge, lies. We have need of naught but our own strength. Meet the enemy in battle and kill him. That is why I care, care not what you did from the first. There is not for you to learn. Tell your masters to meet us on the field, and maybe make ready to ride with their ancestors. A confident is plain, as is your strength. Yet you have not the most prosperous of tribes. The more you mock our few, but so too are you. Why? No glorious death is to be celebrated. It is yet death. While we kill many, many, while we kill many, many, are killed in turn. In the wakes of the our battles, the soil drinks deep of the blood of the fallen. Their bodies piled high. Not all are born again; only the bravest. Yet one cannot return unless there is a vessel to inherit the soul. And the four years die as the, ere they birth children, and that is that. Even the brave warrior who finds a vessel will for many years remain a shadow of its former self. 
It falls to his elders to endure until he is ready to accept his responsibility. Ere will we meet our enemies in battle without fear. Ever will we meet our battle enemies in battle without fear. Such is our way, even when our numbers dwindle. We die, so be it. But now that we fight to live. But know that we fight to live, not to die. Doth Rahl train and make ready for the day. But they do not rush to meet it. Not until we have done our duty. Sadu ka... Sadu hata... Hatun, Yezer's body has been given to the sands. Then our part is done. Best warrior, the Nadam, draws near, and we will need your strength. If you intend to fight in the Nadam, you should return to the mole and make ready. But know that when next we meet, you and yours will die. Or you could fight fight for us and live think on it travelers we shall but if you would permit me one final question ere we part where is the place that Gessio has been leaned to rest though I knew him not it was there I was there at his end and I wish to say a few words rights for the flesh I have heard of this madness I say for his body is up to the earth now he will not hear you but you may speak to the sands, if that is your will. They lie to the west. Make haste. But the, the Gidon may already have caught his scent. My apologies, Eskos. It will take but a moment. Just the three of you. It seems an insult to the man. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. Pardon me? Nope.
Well, that was rude. You would think on client side, these uh, cutscenes would, would play and that you don't necessarily need currently active and could just like play and maybe ping. That would work on pinging to reestablish the connection or something. But no, it just logs you out. I feel like they don't tri try that hard to keep you connected. They just drop you like a rock. <laughs> You're just like, ah, connection's bad. Oh, sorry. Bye. Which can be annoying, especially when you're like zoning into an instance in the middle of an instance. Try that again. for the vultures. It seems an insult to the man. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. Pardon me? When first I heard the tales, I could not help but scoff. Another queer tribe, I thought, with still queerer customs. Yet having borne witness to their rights, I cannot deny there is a certain logic to it all. A samurai will die for his lord without hesitation or regret. But this is not because he delights in such sacrifice. It is because he has faith that his death will serve a higher purpose. There is an awakening in that instant. When the heart sings, and the blood burns, and his soul, his soul finds peace. There is comfort in that. We dare not permit ourselves that luxury, my friend, tempting though it may be. Not while our loved ones yet remain in chains. Well then, we must all be on our way, even Gasser. Let us return to the Dawn Throne and pay that, uh, pray that our tale is enough to satisfy our most radiant Let's keep up, Massa. Meanwhile, deep within the Dawn Throne. Hi, BBO.
Well, if there is a way out, I can't see it. Shame we didn't learn much before they locked us up. Tis little wonder the Oranir won the last Nardom. These people leave naught to chance. Hien, I've had something on my mind for a while, and now... In Alamigo, where I was born, I found it strange that for all the people who supported the Resistance, there were just as many who didn't. But then we came to this part of the world and met with the Confederacy and lots of ordinary domains, and almost every single one of them seemed content to just put up with things, no matter how bad they got. They, they all had their reasons, of course, and, and it's not like I don't understand them, but... The thought of it made me so... angry. After everything they'd been through, everything the Empire had done to them, how could they not rise up? How could they not fight back? People are... Pragmatic creatures at heart. They hold on to hope only until they taste true hardship. Then comes fear and regret. Safer not to dream, they conclude at last. For even should a day go by without some new disappointment, the next will only bring more of the same. And so they choose the more sensible option. They learn to abide the indignities and injustices, the pain and the shame, to accept them as normal. Such is the lot of most men. One cannot expect to spur them to action at a moment's notice. But if one who has known their pain can convince them to strive for something greater and rekindle the fire in their hearts. Then they will remember what they have lost, and they will rise. I had someone like that once. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be, and he risked his life to show me the way. Then honor him by doing the same for others, with all your might and main. You know, when my homeland fell 25 years past, I was still in my mother's womb. Never have I known a free Doma. But my father did as did many of my fallen comrades, as do many of my people now. It may be no more than a dream to me, but if I do not chase it, then who will? The way you carry it all, you're just the same. Hmm? As you? Oh, no. Not me. Definitely not me. I meant the Warrior of Light. Out there, somewhere. Doing what needs to be done. I won't have you put me to shame any longer. I'm going to seize the future I want, with my own two hands. It's said to have seen enough of Dothral Car. You are ready to depart, I trust? Good. Then let us away.
All that you have seen and heard, your knowledge, I would have it. Well, here are their things and traditions, and for the nut on, they're not planning to do anything secret. No secret stratagems, you say. That is well, I expected as much. The Dothral are not schemers. They live only for war, for the contest of strength and will. They are fierce, aye, and to face one is to court death. Meet one on the field and make ready to ride with your ancestors. Such were the words of their cartoon. Cartoon. No. Sadu. Speak not that devil's name in the presence of the most radiant. You may me tell you of the Dothral, yet you will not hear the name of their leader. After the last notum, she gave great offense. The most radiant brother called to him the woman. Called to him the woman of the step that he might look into their, their eyes and see if Nama had looked back. And the woman's. But that. That Gedon, the feral Ogden. Ogden. She spat curses and called forth flames. She scorched the soil and refused to present herself. Three days and nights had we fought to f claim the Dawn throne, and still she shows Brother Mag Magna is such disrespect, such defiance. By rights would she. Would she pay for with that hard life? Speak not another word, Batu, or you will pay for yours. Your words are air, as the Dobin say. However, they are proof of your service to the sun. Go and fetch the others from their cell. My lord, Lise. Lise, you are unharmed. Thanks to you and Asagos, we are free to return to Mall Mall Eo. I take it. By your deeds, have you proven yourselves to be warriors, brave and true? You may return to the Mall and make ready for the Nardom on one condition. To fight in the Nardom is to be bound by it. Swear so here now to b abide by the law of the steppe, to accept the supreme authority of the Hagan, whomever it may be. We swear. He has the axe of the crags. You can actually get that as a transmog when you're doing doing hard mode Titan. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm going to do something quickly here. Well, this would have to be dispelled. Well done, my friends. I knew you'd. Well, I should be glad to hear two of your experiences with the Dothral, but as time is the essence, let us. Let's converse en route. Come, come. Sarah and the others are waiting. This is one of the reasons why you get the check of chocobo keeps and falcon porters.
stutter with Serena, but it's Serena. Thank the gods you are right. When you failed to return, I feared the worst. But here you are, hail and whole, and you survived Bottom's medal. Blessed are we to have you as allies. With your strength, we may have a chance. And Adamus Nye and uh, Serena would have you make your final preparations. My friends, you have come to the final day of the Sansa, Sagansa. To the Nadam. The battle will commence with the rising of the sun. The Yar will, will scatter the soil, and the steppe will be unbound. A great Uvu Fu will erupt. A great Uvu will be up from the earth and call forth a new Hagan. All will, all will converge upon the light, and the warrior who claims it will win the day. Precious little time remains. Pray use it to prepare for the battle. Many of the young ones have never taken part in an autumn. They are nervous. Perhaps you might favor them with some few words. It would do much to ease their fears. At the behest of the Hatun, you will speak with us. This will be kind to do so, and I am grateful. Do not underestimate the power of, the wor of words. The warrior conquers one with his hands, but a thousand with his head. Head, even you cannot fight forever. When we were young, my friends and I would scarcely wait to challenge Bottom's medal. We belonged to become warriors. The day came and went, and we rarely fought men, mostly beasts. Now we must stand against the Oranir and the Dothral. You have seen them, taken the measure of them. Can you believe we can win? We can and will have faith. Yes, yes. Was the gods' will that we fight? Surely it will be their will that we win, of course. How strange this feeling, the thrill before battle, a battle in which I may die. People die all the time, many of them in their sleep, or we will fight, we will win, and we will return to the ball below. Nah, he's going to be boasting about winning. Yes, yes, of course we will. I must have faith. I must have courage. Well, I have not always understood the motives of the gods, but I have accepted their guidance ever since I was a child. If they would have us fight, I must believe they have their reasons. So I shall fight with all my might, and if it is the gods' will, then we shall win. Yeah. Ah, it is you, the one who helped the children with their chores. For that, I must thank you. Though perhaps I may repay the favor in battle. Yes, I do. I too will fight in the autumn, though you may not see me. See me. While you and yours contest the Uvu, my comrades and I will devote our efforts to preventing other tribes from interfering. We are few and we are weak, but we shall do what we can to aid you. Go well, traveler, and if it, it will be... If it be the God's will, let us speak again when the day is done. Okay. No, it's not there. Uh, I need to make a tr quick trip to Kagane. Pop back on the thing. I need to do something about my glamour. I have it all set up. It's just the push of the button. It'll be fine. I just need to push the button. Push the button.
Here, I'm gonna push the button. Everything's fine. Okay, there we go. But I don't have the thing directly to to um, well, Elo. But I do have one to the Dawn Throne. Dawn Throne just happens to have a Falcon border, which could take me back to Mola <laughs> Elo, which I just had, <laughs> where it just was. The icon, of course, is a chocobo. Even though it's not a chocobo, it's a falcon, but, you know. This was wow, and I had I would have already had my transmog mount, and I could just pop up on it and transmog anywhere I damn well please without having to worry about glamour, dispellers, or anything like that. And I would have my set saved, and I could use them at any time just by making sure that I got the the thing. Of course, to be fair, as long as you have the the glamour dispellers and, and glamour uh, prisms. You can glamour everywhere a single item at a time. Just need they just need a better transmog interface. Already, I sense a change in the people that haunts us who that their resolve strengthened this we owe woe to you. We are of the soil, the wind and the wind and the water. We are not conquerors. But we are yet the children of Dama. We are yet sailor. We are made for battle. To kill and be killed. We delight not in such things, but let no man doubt that we are in that they are in our nature. Flesh, blood, bone, that which was given we offer unto the gods as tribute. This day we embrace death, ours and our enemies. So too must you embrace this truth, for this is who we are, who we are because have become as warriors of the steppe. May the gods guide you to victory. All that remains is to wait for daybreak. Here we go. Time for the Nottam. You are ready, Eskis? The soil has been scattered, and the step reborn! Sanctified and unbound, she calls for a new Han! Go forth and claim her, Dothal, and bring death to all who bar your way! Yeah! It begins, Grandmother. I must say, it's been a while. 
Is everyone ready? <laughs> A samurai is always ready! You shall remember this soon enough once I have taken to the field. So we take on all comers and then it's off to Joma. I can't wait. I pity Thank those you, who my stand in my way. In the soil of one and all shall our deeds be inscribed. The Naram, you and your allies must race from Mole Hilo towards the Uru in the distance, while fending off attacks from other tribes. Once you arrive at the Uru, you must claim it for the Mole, but be warned that the warriors of other tribes can do so as well, and only the first will be a crown on. Prevent your opponents from claiming the Uru and endure the assault to win the Naram for the Mole. The answer is Grant us favor, O if you Mother don't, of you the lose. Dust, and to victory guide the mall. I'm gonna leave the volume up for this because I believe there's lots of audios. Chance of this. Can it mount up in this? Nope. <laughs> or I am mounted. Forward, forward. Forward. Let's move forward, brother and sisters. Do the rabble, my lord. Uh, make for the Ulu. Out of my way! With the right idea, I'll keep them busy. Hey, I'm running behind you. There he is.
You came as I knew you would, for you too are a warrior of the steppe. And despite your oversized axe, I could beat your ass. I salute you, traveler, and should be honored to face you alone. But the doth wall thirst for blood and will suffer no wounds. I almost had it, you know. Bear witness, Father Azim. The soil shall drink deep of blood this day. Not 
There we go. Osso. The step has spoken. Then the horn is. Have won. The Dawn Throne is ours. We did it. And you, my friend, you, you were magnificent. Magnificent and uh, not a little terrifying. What a strange tale this has become. To think I suffered them to live. On your guard, Utun. The wind warns of men in iron. Find you here, Aeosian! Dearest of all my enemies! Today's the day I finally get to kill you! And then they'll give me a shiny medal and my choice of posting! Bloody perfect it is! Well, go on then! Kill him! Kill them all! Dearest of all his enemies, eh? Congratulations. Hearken to me, honored warriors of the steppe. Our enemies intrude upon this sacred ground. Have you yet the strength to oppose them? You forget to whom you speak, Doman. We are the Undying Ones. We are Dothal! If this be the will of the Mole and their Han, so be it. The Sun shall abide by the law of the Steppe. Eligo said. Well, the steps with me! All like like crowd cheering sort of things. This is a bloodthirsty uh, a dictator. A, a bloodthirsty person. Though this is obviously what Eskos would say. Crush the Imperials! Try them before you!
Impossible! He was there for the taking! What do I have to do? I need more men, more weapons, more power! As if we'd lose to the likes of him. And we're only gonna get stronger. Stronger and stronger, until we're strong enough to take back everything they stole. I have kept my promise, Serena. They are yours to command. Oh, yes, of course. Brothers and sisters of the Steppe, the Nardom is ended, and we Mull now claim the Dawn Throne. No demands shall we make of you, save these. Heed our comrades' words, and honor the law of the steppe. Before I fought for the mole, I fought for my homeland, for Doma. To Doma, would you have us go to fight your war and win your freedom? Very well. The battlefield matters not, nor else the enemy. In battle do our souls burn bright. And better the Mole's law than that of the Sun. Arrogant and foolhardy were their pronouncements. Already you and yours show better sense. <laughs> the Sun shall answer your call, Doman. Wild as the wind the Atun and her brood may be, but they will deliver you naught. We will deliver you your kingdom. <laughs> Weak and few as we are, the Mole will fight for Doma too, if you will have us. Well then, I believe naught remains but to return to Doma at the head of a Zela army, my lord. I cannot wait to see the look on you Giddy's face. Nor I. We shall depart as soon as our forces are assembled and rejoin our comrades. And then... My friends, we shall bring freedom to the people of Doma! That was fun. And that's also about an hour and 45 or two hours and 45 minutes, which means I went a little bit over, but it it felt like this was a good, satisfying ending. We'll finish this quest and uh, pick up um, next time. I'm probably going to do some offline stuff. Uh, just, you know, get flying where possible and uh, try to even out my uh, class levels for, the, for my foes or chosen classes or jobs. Imperial um, friend was truly impeccable timing. Had he come even a few moments earlier, he might even actually have stood a chance. In any event, there's two battles won in a single day, but my reckoning gives us twice the cause to celebrate. But first, I pray you grant me a moment to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, we are one step closer to freeing my homeland from the tyranny of the the Empire. 
I'm your debt. Of course, if all goes to plan, this is like to be but the first of many such debts. Yet I promise to endure my insolvency with a smile, out of gratitude to the Kami for seeing fit to send you hither. I'm going to pick up this quest. Oh, it's another thing, and I get a thing. <laughs> Yen has what can be best described as a shite-eating grin. Oh, also, my speed in uh, the assumed set has increased. Ah, but it would be rude of me to monopolize your attention. Doubtless, there are others who would speak with you. Let us go and meet uh, Tmulun Hatu. And we will meet with her next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, uh, we. It comes out loud every Sunday. We are currently in the middle of the season of Drag Race All Star Season 4. Oh, six? Six. I think it's six. I don't know. I'm not part of that show. I just, uh, I hire somebody to uh, do the uh, uh, intro and, and, and I edit it and post it. That's about it. Um, so you can find all that at CubsOutLoud.com, uh, YouTube and YouTube.com slash CubsOutLoud. Follow our podcast at CubsOutLoud pretty much anywhere on the internet. And um, uh, also, uh, on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, wherever they're calling it now, uh, Spotify, Amazon, Apple, etc. We should be able to find these two podcasts. See Well Drag Race and Cubs Out Loud. Uh, Bears of Dragons next Thursday. And depending on what's going on, I might be streaming again tomorrow. So we might be able to pick this up sooner than you might think. Anyways in the stream there that's my post stuff Oi. i think i proved my medal <laughs>